Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I want to do a test for you. I will use 1 8 aluminum and we'll do multiple passes. And the reason I do multiple passes is that I'm using O45 wire here, 53, 56. And when I take weld, I use uh, this thickness right here. So it, that's why I do multiple passes. And also bear in mind that with all my tests, I only weld on one side of the weld because practically when you're welding something that's watertight you just weld from one side most of the welds are just from one side so um, just to make it fair comparing laser to TIG I'm just gonna weld on one side too I'm gonna do three passes with 045 wire and then we'll test it and we'll see how strong it will hold so let's begin This is the first pass. Second pass. And third pass. While it's hot, let me brush it with my steel brush just to show you how the weld looks like before we destroy it. And look at that guys, beautiful weld, very pleasing. This is how it looks like in the bottom. So today the, the way I'm gonna test it is to actually put it on my anvil and we'll hit it with a hammer and we'll see how it will deform. So uh, I will do multiple of these tests to show you everything and, and I will also do a cut and edge and everything just to show you how the weld bead looks like but today we'll do it on the anvil okay so here is our weld welded from one side as discussed this is how it looks like it's just a bit of wire left over here and Let's put it in the anvil and give it a few wax and see how it will hold. So the way I'm going to position that, I'm going to put it this way and hit here and we'll see how it will deform. Alright, let's see how it deformed. This is how it looks like. Let's keep going. Still didn't fail, holding perfectly. Now let me just try to make it straight and push it to the other side. Let's see how it's gonna fail. It is very strong guys. Let me put it in the vise. I cannot do it with my hands. So before I completely destroy it, um, let me try to cut a section and see how the weld looks like. So this is how it looks like. Maybe I should sand it. But let's put it in the vise first and see how it will feel.
there's no way I'm gonna be able to break this weld. It's very obvious that the material is gonna fail first. See? The aluminum broke. See? The weld's still intact. It just broke here. The material is much weaker than the weld itself. Okay, so here is our weld after it failed. The weld itself is intact, very strong, and the uh, material is the one that failed. The weld is stronger than the parent material, and this is exactly what you want. And um, the reason I'm doing these tests is that before I purchase and learn how to laser weld, uh, I was very skeptical. These are the tests that any uh, welder would like to see. So I understand your skepticism uh, because of all the videos you see on YouTube. So I'm trying to do these videos because these are the videos that I really wanted to see. This, these are the tests that I really wanted to see myself before I commit to $5,800 of investment and buy this uh, laser and go through the learning process and stuff like that. So uh, is it worth it? I would say absolutely yes. Um, comparing to tech, this is a very intuitive process and you can get very good results like that. So um, there's no tungsten to sharp. Uh, you don't need to uh, worry uh, if you dip your electrode in the weld puddle or something like that. And we all do it, we all do it. So no matter how experienced you are, you will still make mistakes sometimes. For me, um, materials are very expensive right now. And uh, especially if it's already machined or something that already had labor put into it to make it nice and then I just have to weld it. So welding is not everything I do, it's just a part of what I do. Uh, I don't do welding only for living, so uh, it's a part of my life, it's not all my life and uh, I, I, don't, I don't want it to take a big portion of my time. Uh, so uh, uh, laser welders just made welding aluminum very easy guys so uh, the settings I was using uh, uh, I, I was using uh, 1400 watts with three millimeter of scan and the wire feed was 60 centimeters per minute uh, I was using 045 53 56 wire and uh, these are the results this is the cross section that we cut and this is how it looks like. So with that, please like, subscribe if you want to see more videos like that, if you want to see more testing. Uh, I'm planning to do testing with uh, titanium, uh, N-canal, and uh, uh, copper and several other materials. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching.